Hi, this is Chad Trofgerman, back for another Flash tutorial. And today, I will be covering the Subselection tool. Now, in a previous video, I covered the Selection tool. And the Subselection tool acts similar, but does things a little bit differently. And really, when working with these tools, it comes down to personal preference of which you would like to use and at what given time. But, you know, it does have its uses, and it's actually a pretty cool tool. And um, so today, I'm going to be demonstrating it. So, okay. To begin, I'm going to draw an object on the screen so we have something to fool around with. So I will come over here to the oval tool, and I'll click that. And then we'll come over here to the stage, and then I'll click, hold, and drag this, and release and now we have our circle to work with. Okay, now let's go check out the subselection tool. If you're unaware, the subselection tool is located um, it's the second tool on the selection on the on the toolbar. So, and it's right there. It's the white arrow. So, we'll uh, click that and we'll come over here to the area. And okay, with the selection tool you could grab basically anything and drag it. But here with the subselection tool, if we try to grab the fill of the circle, it doesn't work. We actually draw a selection area in the middle of the circle and we're not grabbing anything. This is just one of the ways it works differently. But if we come over here to the line and we click the line, you'll notice a bunch of green little dots appear on the line. And if we click in between these dots, you'll notice uh, a square appears on the cursor. It's a black little square. This indicates that we can move the object around, as just like this. We can move it anywhere we want. However, if we go down to one of the focal points here, you'll notice that it's no longer a filled-in square. It's actually an outline of a square by the cursor, the little icon. This indicates that we are by, our, our cursor is on a focal point. And let's see what happens when we click and drag this around. As you can see, we are actually morphing the circle based on the focal point we are currently at. So if you go here, and when you do this, you'll notice you actually create two more focal points from that focal point. And these are kind of neat because if you click and hold and drag these, you can rotate these actually 360 degrees either way. And you know, you can get like really kind of crazy with this. Kind of go like that. And it just has a lot of, you know, different kind of neat features to it. I mean, you can go through and just kind of play around and see what you can come up with. And See, uh, compared to the uh, selection tool, you could, with the selection tool, you, um, you could actually morph the object from any point, but you're kind of limited on how you can move stuff. However, with the subselection tool, as you see, we have limited points where we can move things. However, there's kind of more creative options you can take with it. So that's what separates it from the selection tool. And to be completely honest, I hardly ever use the subselection tool. It just not uh, it just doesn't really suit what I do. However, that doesn't mean that there's no uses for it. I recognize there's plenty of uses for it. And in fact, you may find that you love it and use it all the time. And really, that's what's important here is that you kind of play around, get used to Flash, and figure out what you like and what's best suited for you. So. Anyway, I uh, hope you found this helpful, and I guess I will see you guys next time.